I think, um, you know, for, for better or for worse, when you have disruptive technology like blockchain coming out, there's going to be, you know, early adopters, you're going to have skeptics, you're going to be have people that are so kind of dug into their position, and it becomes more of a, a fight over emotion than a, than a fight over reality. And, uh, you know, I've, I've just witnessed this through throughout, you know, my career in blockchain, uh, as well as, you know, trying to introduce the concept of what we're working on to my parents, to my friends, and trying to recruit people that I have tremendous respect for to come in and help me. And they say, well, you know, isn't isn't blockchain this and this? And I say, nah, that, that's what people do with the blockchain. That's not what blockchain is. And so I think, uh, you know, there's just a tremendous amount of education the world is going to be flipped upside down by what comes out of blockchain in the next five to 10 years. And we're not going to recognize the world that we live in today. I completely agree. And I mean, everything we build with, with web three technologies, I, in my head, I've got a, you know, I've got a 10 year old and a 15 year old and that's who we're building for. You know, most of the, most of the people that are our age that have gone through this, that, that, you know, kind of predated uh, web one, um, those of us dinosaurs, like, we just look at the world a little differently. Like if I shut down my computer or, you know, delete a delete, you know, my social media accounts, like life goes on, I'm totally fine. Um, but that's not the next generation. They were born with a mobile you know, device and always connected. Um, and so they really think of things differently. And so the idea of true digital ownership, the idea of true digital identity um, it is something that they're craving desperately, desperately for. Uh, so they don't have to start over all the time. I mean, the idea of moving from one game to one game or one social media platform to other social media platform and losing all your likes or your shares and your fake internet points, which can be turned into real internet points and, yeah. and sometimes monetizable through through great things like DeFi because you know if Reddit suddenly just started distributing, you know, upload coins, who knows? Somebody, a marketer, may want to buy them and, and use that kind of cloud. So there's a lot of a lot of really amazing use cases.